Hello. Hmm. I need a mill. It has been um, a hard winter, and the wolves are hungry. We must protect our villages from their packs. Right. This one. Oh, where's Eric the Red? To build enough long ships for this journey, we will need gold and lots of it. Oops. There's plenty in the fishing villages of Britain for the taking. Yeah, um... At the moment... You play... I can't remember his name. Eric the Red. Stay. Right. What I'm doing at the moment, there's quite a few walls around and you don't want your villagers to be attacked by them because then you have to get them um, healed, healed again and that will take time and effort and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting Eric the Red, he'll, he'll heal himself because for, yeah. See, his health is going up. Um, uh, right, this one. What you need to do is get Eric the Red to the new new land. Um, it might sound a bit easy, but you have to go through Greenland. Um, Greenland is sort of this area here that I'm pointing with the arrow and there's, they're quite heavily fortified as in they've got quite a few um, uh, watchtowers and castles and, and all this um, so yeah you'll need to watch out um, we'll get you two to do that um, the British are just here, and you can oops, uh, what are we can do the British. Yeah, if you destroy their markets, you get gold, which you need because there's no gold on this island. Um. Yeah, so you do desperately need that gold. There is some gold on Greenland, so once you get over there, you should be okay. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, the reason why you have to go through Greenland is down here is some huge... Um, I don't know what you call it really. But it seems to be in the shape of a dragon, as in coloured with dark and light water. And you, uh, if your ships go over it, you drown. So that's not exactly, um, not exactly fun. Uh, right. Just need to pause it. Yep. Yeah, um. Sorry, I'm back again. Just checking that. The microphone volume was, was alright, and it seems to be, so that's good. Um, at the moment you start in... Yeah, that, that was one of Greenland's soldiers that I think start on your island. Which is very peculiar. Um, you start in the Dark Age, so it's not exactly fun. Um, whenever I played this in the past, I did play this before just to understand what's going on so I don't have to um, mess around too much on here when I'm playing for you lot. Um, yeah, I when I was playing around I had no one attack me. Well, no, no one came onto the island so that was... Oh, there's one. So that was good. That was useful that... Uh, no one attacked me because then I could just spend my time getting resources. Um, 
Oh, how much? Oh, 75, okay. Um, one th because it will take a short while to build up some resources and get through the ages, um, I, must, I wrote a list about um, uh, positives and negatives about the Conquerors. Um, well, sort of Age of Empires 2 and the Conquerors, but um, yeah, you can understand. I thought I'd start with the negatives. Um, first one is limited actions. Um, each um, I mean, with farming you can see, yeah, they're doing something. Um, and they got some actions, but it's not really it, when, like when um, soldiers are fighting too. They don't really have many actions to do. It's literally just like with the man at arms. It's chop, 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 and it just continues like that. So that's a bit. Ooh, there's another one. So that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, you saw there. He it was just swipe, 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 and it would have been would have been a little bit better. If it was um, there was just a few more actions. It it would make make the game a bit more interesting. Um, another negative is when I was playing this. One thing I found um, was that. The AI or the other players, the computer players, don't don't really attack villagers all that much unless the villagers are attacking them. Um, one of the examples is uh, where are they? Oh, oops, I've got to do that. Um, one of the examples is actually in the next level. You can not so much abuse this, but you can uh, use it to your advantage, and it helps you skip um, get past some people without having to um, kill them, basically. Um. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm going to go to the feudal age. Um, number three of the ne negatives. I, I did four for each. Number three was um, quite a few soldiers appear in the same um, in, in lots of civilizations. For example, man at arms appear in every single civilization. Now, with like the Aztecs. The majority of their warriors were either eagle warriors or jaguar warriors. They rarely had any others. Um, they might have had a few archers, but it, they all look, all the man at arms look the same, just the difference in colour. So, one thing that would have been good is if they'd made them look slightly different. Um, made them look slightly different between. Uh, generation, generations, uh, civilizations. Um, it, it, yeah, it might just helped a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, um, the last one: siege weapons only use up one population, and it's sometimes that's not quite realistic. Sometimes it's a lot more than that. Sometimes they. Um, yeah. Sometimes they um, need to have quite a few people, so it's, it's not quite realistic. Anyway, um, on to um, on to the positives. One of them is the um, historical accuracy. 
Um, I recently watched a program about Attila and the Hunt, and one of the things they did was they intimidated Constantinople, and Constantinople were just trying to buy them off and sort of keep going, you know, please go away, we don't want you here anymore, just get out of our sight. Um, and that happened in real life, oh dear. Wait, well. Oh! Oh my goodness, I've never had that before. That is a deer attacking my outpost. Oh, let's go and sort, of sort it out. That is so weird. Let's just repair this for the fun of it. There we go. Um, ooh, arms. Um, uh, yeah. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, um, yeah, that was the historical accuracy. And there's various other parts to that Hun program that I thought actually yes that is that is true. Um, right with limited gold here you want to use use your gold wisely. Um, it doesn't take much to defeat the British or well to destroy their um, markets but getting men at arms is um, quite useful. Yeah, unfortunately, wooden gold, so I don't really want to do that. But man at arms only take 20 gold. So I'm just going to create 8 of those. And I'm going to get. I'll be taking along Eric the Red and the other Berserks because they're quite good. Yeah, I'm not going to do any increase in um, number of people on the ships because I can just take them over and they'll be fine. Oh, what's it? Yeah, spearmen or skirmishes. Let's do a few spearmen. Oh yeah, I need some more wood. Um. Oh, another positive a range of technologies to use. It's um there's just loads of technologies that you can use. Um and they cover a wide aspect of all the different things, so that's quite nice. Uh number three technologies and soldiers relate to civilization. Um I know with the Goths and their huskarls. The huskarls were uh, peasants, I believe. Um, yeah, they were, they were huskarls, and they were peasants who um, could. There we go. Yeah, um, they could just be called up just like that. No, um, no problem about where they're actually from. And that was quite, quite good actually. Uh, right, let's go exploring. Yeah, that was good because. Um oh, sorry, I forgot to say that you they're one of their unique technologies. They have two. One of them, you um, can. If I can remember. Um, Huskarls can be created at the barracks, which is actually a little bit realistic. So um, it, it all ties in with the 
um, thingy. It all ties in with the conquerors, so that's quite good. Um, the last positive is, for its time, the graphics are actually quite good. The um, the buildings actually look pretty good, so yeah, go them. Yeah, that's all the um, positives and negatives I wrote. Now back to the game. That Hun program I watched was actually very good to watch. I quite enjoyed it. And it, there were quite a few, um, There are quite a few. And as you know, I will. I will do. Yeah, quite a few um, parts in the Hun program that I just thought, you know, wow, I didn't realise that. Uh, where are you going? I think once I get there, I'll... Oh great. One more. There we go. Uh, once I get into the British land, I will... Go in. I know where the markets are, so I'll do that. Um, and I'll just destroy the markets. But I'll first of all destroy the town centre. Um, that's something that's would be worth doing. And um, but once I get the gold, I'm then going to go over to Greenland and build up a little base there because I, I don't want to stay here too long. But I'll, I'll still keep some people here. To um, keep some resources going, but the main thing I will recommend that you do is get a hemp besiege workshop and battering rams. You'll need to get to the next stage, though. So Daga! 